Outrage in Texas this morning as we learn more about the police response to Tuesday's tragic school shooting. 19 students and two teachers were killed as police delayed entering the classroom. And we now know just how long they waited before taking out the shooter. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us from the newsroom with more on how police handled the situation. Christina? Good morning, Cindy. It took an hour and 20 minutes after the initial 911 call for the shooter to be killed by law enforcement. The governor of Texas says he is livid about the police response at Robb Elementary School and is demanding a full investigation. A gut-wrenching admission from Texas law enforcement that police waited more than 45 minutes to engage the gunman because the commanding officer on scene thought he was no longer dealing with an active shooter. Of course it was not the right decision. It was the wrong decision, period. There's no, no excuse for that. At one point, 19 officers were waiting in the hallway, not moving on the gunman, while inside the classroom, a desperate child repeatedly called 911, asking to be saved. Outside, frantic parents were also begging heavily armed officers to do something. Jesse Rodriguez was among the parents. His 10-year-old daughter, Annabelle, was killed in her classroom. They let, let her baby get slaughtered. Sacrifice. We're getting a clearer timeline of what happened. The shooter crashed his truck near the school just before 11.30 a.m. and fired at the school. The school resource officer was not there at the time. The gunman seen here enters through a door that had been propped open by a teacher. He would fire more than 100 rounds from his AR-15 style rifle inside the school. The information that I was given turned out in part to be inaccurate and I'm absolutely Living about that. Governor Greg Abbott says he was misled about the police response and is promising a thorough investigation into both the gunman and the law enforcement response. CBS News has learned it was Border Patrol agents who ultimately went into the classroom on their own initiative and shot the suspect. Bottom line would be why did they not choose the strategy that would have been best to get in there and to eliminate the killer and to rescue the children. And those 19 students should have started their summer break this weekend. The governor says an anonymous donor has given $175,000 to pay for all of the victims' funerals. And the state will provide free mental health services for the entire community. In the newsroom, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.